Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. I am said Stevie. Me. This guy. Right here. That's me. And I got something pretty cool to open up today. And this comes from uh, C. Reisner uh, Cutlery slash uh, Traditional Pocket Knives. And, um... The contents of this is something pretty darn cool. So, uh, I had been talking to Austin uh, a little bit over there. We've been going back and forth. Um, we were going to try to uh, hook up a blade show, and um, it was just so busy, we just never had a chance to cross paths. But uh, Austin hit me up and asked if I would be interested in checking out a couple of new knives that are going to be uh, traditional pocket knife uh, dot com exclusive and um, what do we got here so we got those two um, oh boy all sorts of goodies falling out here so uh, we got some stickers uh, that came in the box TPK if I'm not mistaken designed by uh, the homie pocket metal um, anytime you order from uh, traditional pocket knives, you're going to get, uh, uh, you know, a little card of information about them. Uh, awesome, awesome company, uh, veteran owned. Austin is a uh, second, third generation, uh, pocket knife, uh, collector and, uh, took over the company, uh, from his grandfather, I believe. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what's in these boxes. The new getting jigged with it uh qsp penguins so he did include a note here um yeah so uh let's just get into these before uh i start reading that note so this one here uh this is the uh c reisner cutlery exclusive penguin single blade sheep's foot gray jigged titanium so uh, I love me some uh, QSP penguins I should have brought mine out um, uh, I've had many different ones and I keep selling them off and getting uh, new ones I currently have one of the fragged ones when I saw these though oh boy um, Look at that. Holy crap. So I believe this was uh, Austin's idea to do uh, jigged on the... I used to say jigged. I gotta be honest. I used to say jigged. But um, I started hearing Austin say jigged. And so now I say jigged. Um, this, uh, first off, um, the premium uh, penguins... The actions are uh, phenomenal on these. Um, easy act. These are frame locks as opposed to the uh, liner locks. Uh, running on bearings, not Teflon washers like uh, some of the more budget Micarta ones and uh, G10 ones. Um, very easy access to the lock bar. You see how that falls. Little shake shut. You can middle finger flick it. You can uh, thumb uh, flick these. Uh, no problem. Um... Yeah, uh, the Penguin is one, in my opinion, one of the best uh, knives out there. It's, uh, you know, whether you have one of the G10 or Micarta uh, budget ones, or you have uh, one of the premium ones, it's just a phenomenal knife, straight up. And the uh, titanium uh, handled ones make them feel really good. I believe that this is just just over three inches so that's a three and a half inch blade so maybe it's three and a quarter inch on those um and then i'll i'll get into uh the um note that austin sent along for the uh, reviewers to take a look at but this one is the and i don't want to get these mixed up uh this one is so i'm going to put the gray one with that one there and then this one is the murdered out one. And I'll tell you, when I first saw these, 
what my inclination uh, was to do. So I love, oh man, um, I absolutely love the black jigged, jigged. I love it. But I'm not a fan of the black wash blades. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up ordering both of these and doing a, uh, uh, not only a uh, pocket clip, but a blade and hardware uh, swap as well. And have a black blade on a, uh, make a reverse tuxedo um, uh, jigged penguin. And then have one that I would keep um, and uh, with the uh, stone washed. Uh, is this stone washed or is this satin blade? That's a satin blade. Um, either way, uh, these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I would say um, if you have one of the frag pattern ones currently, the jigged, in my opinion, um, is better. I, I would say the actions are going to be the same. Um, I, man, I should have brought my uh, other penguin with me to do a comparison, but I would say that uh, the action on these are no different than the frag pattern or even uh, the regular uh, titanium uh, penguins. They're, they're the same. But the finish on these, oh boy, uh, I dig it. So, um, what does this say? Uh, hey, YouTubers, I would first like to say thank you. Uh, you guys are taking time out of your busy schedule to help me promote this. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, okay, uh, there is some stuff in here I'm not going to read quite yet. Uh, so I'm going to basically be doing a follow-up review on these uh, based on this note. Um, but uh, I do want to say that these are going to be on sale uh, starting uh, July 18th. Um, I don't know if that's a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday. But July 18th at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern and... Here's, get this, 125 bucks for these. I think that the uh, the regular uh, Frag Titanium isn't much more than that, or right around, it's not more, right around that. Um, and I can say honestly, um, for 125 bucks, uh, what are the, what are the, what's the steel on these? I want to say that they are, is it marked on here? Holy moly, uh, these are M390. Yeah, uh, these are M390 blades. I'm pretty darn sure that... Um, uh, so there has been M390 penguins out there before in the past, pretty certain. But the other uh, frag and the other titanium ones that I've gotten have been 154 cm. I'm about 90% positive on that. So I'll be doing a follow-up uh, video on those to show those off. But um, yeah, uh, definitely wanted to show uh, these off to you guys. Uh, they are pretty, pretty damn awesome. So again, you have the... Oh, there's the specs. Haha. -ha. Uh, 3.6 inch, 3.06 inch blade. Uh, M390 thumb stud, ceramic ball bearings, frame lock, titanium lanyard, lanyard hole. Um, yeah, so I guess it is, uh, you should read the stuff that it comes with. So there's the specs on those, just over a three uh, inch knife. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to go into a full review of the penguins quite yet. These have been done a thousand times. Um, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, uh, a penguin at this point. You just never seen the jigged. So... Um, but anyway, I would say uh, money ergos on these. Again, I'd say one of the better EDC-friendly uh, knives out there um, in all the different iterations that they come, whether it's a D2, uh, Micarta, cheap, running on Teflon washers. Uh, that's the first knife I ever modded myself that I did uh, acid washing and uh, tumble uh, stone washed uh, finish on it. I think I ended up giving that one to Gons. Um, and then Gons, uh, I think, uh, did it in a giveaway. I don't have that one anymore. But um, a lot of people carry these. Uh, you know what else is cool is that Blade Show, Jason Brown and his homie Jason Bird won the QSP 
Penguin XL prototypes. Those effers are dope. And uh, those are the only two out there. And both Jason B's got them. But um, I know a ton of people that EDC, um, as their just go-to uh, knife uh, penguin, I know that Thrasher, I think, has the brass one. Um, I know, uh, I'm almost positive, Jason Brown uh, carries one. A couple more. And then you know who's going to go nuts for these? Is the Penguin King himself, uh, Z-Man. Uh, Z-Man, I think, has the most extensive uh, penguin collection out there. I think that dude literally has every single uh, um, penguin uh, that's uh, been put out. He's got uh, uh, quite the flock of penguin collections. Yeah, these are um, very left-hand friendly uh, as for a frame lock, I gotta say. Um, I'm not great uh, left-handed, but I do fidget uh, left-handed. And um, it doesn't seem to be lock bar uh, sensitive. So that's good. But uh, I will be doing another post on these for sure. Um, another uh, video on them just because I, I want to show a comparison between the frag uh, titanium. But uh, shout out to Austin Traditional Pocket Knives. Uh, if I can order from them, I will. I just think they're a great company. Um, he runs a great shop over there. I've bought, uh, I've gotten a GEC toenail clipper from there. I've gotten uh, a couple of finches from i got my roadrunner and my runtley uh from there i might have even gotten my 1929 from traditional pocket knives uh and then just recently i got something else but uh what i'm really really looking forward and he did send some information along on and uh, i'll talk about that another time is his uh ohio river jack um uh that is going to be a uh, dope this is not in color um, so I can't really show it off, but, uh, this is absolutely a modern traditional, um, that's going to be a, a, slip joint that is in, uh, Bowler M390. Uh, you're going to have natural micarta, uh, canvas micarta, black micarta, a green micarta. Um, you're going to have them in a, uh, uh, sheep's foot. You're going to have them in a spear point and a, uh, Warncliffe and a two blade. So be on the lookout for those, man. I cannot wait to get one of those. Um, those are going to be uh, happening really soon. So, um, yeah. Again, just shout out to uh, Traditional Pocket Knives. Uh, uh, Austin over there is, again, running an awesome company. So uh, appreciate uh, getting to take a look at these. And, yeah, that's all I got. So until the next one... I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will talk to you mofos later. Deuces!